came from Orkney. As you can see, Orkney's not well known for, for trees. It's hills and for open fields and, and rocks. However, in 1948, a chap by the name of Edwin Harold moved to Orkney and he decided to to create himself his own little garden, his own little garden paradise on Orkney. So over the rest of his life, he built, well not built, he planted and developed what you can now see in front of me, which is now known as Happy Valley. So we'll go and have a quick look at that. When he died, he left it to Orkney as a, as a public area so people could come and enjoy it. So let's go and enjoy it. When Edward moved here in 1948, it was quite an open and barren landscape. And over his lifetime, he planted hundreds of trees to create the forest and wooded landscape that you can see before you now. The cottage which Edwin lived in had no mains supplies, so there was no water, there was no electric. So he built a dam to create his own water supply and he also built a mini hydroelectric system to allow him to have light in the house. We will see the cottage at the end of the video when we leave Happy Valley. Edwin was born and raised on Orkney and when he was older he joined the war effort and became an anti-aircraft gunner. He was discharged for health reasons and became a forestry worker in England. After years of doing this he returned to Orkney and chose to live in Bankburn Cottage which had been uninhabited since 1940. It was here that he developed Happy Valley. Edwin didn't mind living in a cottage that had no electric or water or gas. He actually said in an interview once that he quite enjoyed not having all the mod cons and the problems that came with them. There must be something quite fortifying about living a simple life like this as he lived to nearly 100 years old. After his death, the property and the land was gifted to the Orkney Island Council and it's now looked after and maintained by the Friends of Happy Valley. The Friends of Happy Valley is a charitable organisation and its members maintain and look after the land so that the paradise that Edwin conceived and developed nearly more than 70 years ago can continue to be enjoyed for people for many years to come. Orkney Council recognised that this was a place of special interest and that it was very much held within the hearts of the local community. So in 2017, it was given the status of a local nature reserve. Happy Valley is free to visit and open at all times.
walking around here seeing all of these pathways and the, the waterways and the, the walls and everything that's been built and planted over the years just by one man it's it's quite incredible it just really does does make you realize that with enough passion and belief and determination you can you can accomplish anything So that says monkey puzzle. And that relates to the tree the stone is in front of, which is a monkey puzzle tree. In front of us here is Bankburn Cottage. This is where Edwin lived out his days, developing and planting and growing the Happy Valley. Although we can't look inside or go inside the cottage, I did manage to find a couple of photographs of Edwin enjoying himself relaxing by the fire. And there we go, that was Happy Valley.